I'll light our candle. Again, woodland scent. Smells nice. So lighting our candle to create our space, bringing our attention inward to ourselves, to our practice. Feel free to close your eyes if you'd like, or gaze softly down in front of yourself, keeping the eyes soft if they're open. <laughs> Gathering up all the parts of yourself. I've been doing this a lot in class lately, but it really is, you know, with the vata time, the extra air and ether, the autumn weather, changeable, variable, we're in flux right now. And sometimes it can feel like little parts of yourself are just getting blown to different corners of the yard, like leaves. So wherever your attention is, meetings afterwards, the grandbabies coming, whatever, Wherever your mind is, all the little pieces of yourself that you've left all over before the practice and where you plan on doing after the practice, just gather all those pieces of yourself back up and bring them home to yourself, gathering up your prana. And then bringing the mind to the breath and watching the breath as you inhale, watching the, no the air touch the nose, the chest expands all the way around, back, side, front, and the belly releases down and out. And on the exhale, the belly comes in gently towards the spine, the chest relaxes and the air leaves the nose. So keep following the breath with your mind Lengthening, inviting the breath to lengthen and smooth out. Seeing if you can create an equal inhale to equal exhale. So if it helps to count and keep the mind focused, please count quietly in your head to whatever number for the inhale equal to the exhale. Honoring the pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. Taking one more round here. And blinking the eyes open and coming to your mat, standing on your mat when you're ready. So staying with the same long, smooth breath. Move my slippers. <laughs> Taking the feet either hip distance apart or big toes can be touching. Actually, before, before we start that, go ahead and grab your strap. So taking your strap so that it's shoulder, shoulder width, unless you're working with other issues, shoulder issues, you know, you can go wider. That gives your yourself a little, your shoulders a little more room to work. And being closer together is gonna be a little more uh, challenging for the shoulders. Your shoulders need to be more open for that. So do what's right for you today. Taking the strap, 
feet can be hip distance or big toes touching, staying with the same long, smooth breath, moving into Tadasana. As you inhale, arms come up, maybe the heels lift off the earth. And exhale, lowering the arms and lowering the heels. Stay with that. Inhale. Exhale. Focusing on the belly each time you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more round on your own. See if you can slow it down, enjoy the pause. Then go ahead and drop your strap. We'll come back to it later. <clears throat> Taking, you might want something, <clears throat> excuse me, something close by a wall or a dresser or moving into tree pose. So taking the left foot wherever you'd like, it can be at the as a kickstand on the shin, up on the thigh, wherever it would like to go. Turning the knee out, so externally rotating the thigh. The foot and the leg are coming together towards the midline, and the right hip is coming towards the midline. Inhale, arms come up. You can easily just hold on to something for some balance and exhale, arm comes down. Again, inhale, arms up. Focusing on something on the floor in front of you that's not moving helps with balance. Exhale, lower down. The key thing is having the breath long and smooth. Take one more round on your own. So long, smooth breaths. If it starts getting jagged or anything like that, Take the foot down to some more manageable, more stable level so the breath can be long and smooth. That's what's most important. And then go ahead and lower the leg. Maybe rotate out the right ankle. And then moving to the other side. And right away, noticing if you feel a difference in the balance and the stability. I have one side that's way more stable than the other usually. So some days are different though, some days they're both good. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, lower. Taking one more round on your own. And then lowering the leg and rolling out the left foot if it needs it. Never stop being amazed by our bodies and what they tell us. So let's do that one more time. And this time we're going to do the crossing the midline, okay? With the arms as the foot is up. So just so you know where we're going, maybe having something close by. And when we do this, so we're gonna be raising our arms out to a T and the eyes, if you'd like, can follow the hand the whole way, right? So that adds a whole different dimension to this posture. Or you can gaze ahead of you. So pick what's right for you and you can hold on to something and still do the, the following of the eyes. So take the left foot up on the leg. Inhale, arms out to a T. Exhale, right hand comes to left shoulder. Maybe the left eyes, <laughs> the eyes follow. Inhale, both arms wide. And exhale, lower down. Coming to the other side, right foot up. 
Inhale, arms to a T. Following the left hand this time. Exhale, left hand to right shoulder. Inhale, arms wide. And exhale, lower down. Coming to feet together, moving into your Vajrasana one, warrior one. Turn the right toes out of the diagonal. Step the left foot forward. Hips are forward, feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, arms come up, bending the front knee. Keep the back leg straight, heel into the earth. Exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Again, inhale, arms up. The arms can be straight up or they can come out to the side, whatever feels most expansive and good in the body today. Exhale, lower down. So maybe play with the arm positions. Inhale. Exhale. One more here, inhale. Exhale. Stepping the front foot back to be with the back foot. Take the toes together. Left toes come out of the diagonal. Step the right foot forward. Same thing this side. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Two more on your own. Moving with your breath. Enjoy the pauses at the top and the bottom. Last round. And then stepping for the front foot back to be with the back foot. We'll be doing the same thing, but this time we'll be adding on Vera 2, Vera Vajrasana 2, which is where we lift the leg if you would like. So right toes at the diagonal, step the left foot forward. Inhale, arms come up, bend the front knee. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fly. So the back foot, foot can stay on the ground. One long line of energy through the crown of the head. Bodies in a diagonal, arms can come back. Or you can lift the leg. Inhale, coming back to warrior one. Exhale, straighten the leg, lower the arms. Again, so watching your breath. I think we've all been through this before, but as a reminder, so it's gonna be here. The arms can be out here. The arms can be in front. The, the biceps would be by the ears if you have your arms in the front like this. Wide like this or back like this. Those are the arm options. Leg can be on the ground or you can lift any degree you'd like. Toes are pointing towards the ground. Foot's flexed. And then you land quietly. Inhale, arms lift, warrior one. Exhale, belly comes in, fly. You could also hold on to something. Inhale, land quietly, come back to warrior one. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Two more like that. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fly. Inhale, land quietly with control, warrior one. Exhale, lower the arms. One more on your own.
stepping the left foot back to be with the right foot. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So left toes come out of the slight diagonal, right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, fly. Inhale, land, warrior one. And exhale, lower the arms. Stay with this. Inhale, arms, warrior one. Exhale, fly. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lower the arms. Two more rounds on your own. See if you can slow it down. Smooth out the breath for each posture. If you've finished, just observe. Go ahead and step your foot back and observe. Noticing any sensations in the body. And then taking the feet hip distance apart, moving into Uttanasana, forward fold. As you inhale, arms come up from the front. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. The knees can be bent if you'd like. Allow the head to release downward. Inhale, rise back up. And as this is a counter pose, so exhale, just go right back down into it. Belly comes in. Focus on the belly. Moving with your own breath. Inhale on the rise. Taking a few more rounds here. And if it feels good, while you're folded over, maybe taking a little bit of a wiggle to one side and then the other, if that feels good in the body. One last round here. And just exhaling, rolling the arms. Taking the feet together. Again, they can be hip distance apart, moving into chair pose. As you inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, take squat and take the hands out to the sides. Belly comes in. Inhale, arms lift overhead, straightening the legs. And exhale, bringing the hands to heart center. So this time playing with the mantra. Uh, mantra. So we'll be inhaling, gathering it up. I am grateful. You could just say grateful. Exhale, squatting would be thankful. Where I am thankful, hands can come to heart center. Inhale, up, grateful. Opening the arms wide, looking up if you like. And exhale, hands, heart center, grateful, bringing it in. Okay, so every inhale, grateful. Every exhale, thankful. Inhale. Thankful.
Inhale, grateful. Exhale, thankful. Inhale. Exhale. Keep saying the mantra to yourself. Inhale, grateful. Exhale. Inhale, two more on your own. Seeing if you can slow it down. Pause for a moment. Coming down onto our knees. So coming to seated on the heels if possible, or standing on the knees, whatever's best today. As you inhale, arms come up from the front, come to standing on the knees. Exhale, Vajrasana, fold, belly comes in. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Heart comes forward, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, Vajrasana, fold. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, right leg lifts. Exhale, fold, Vajrasana. Inhale, standing on the knees, arms raised. And exhale, come to seated on the heels or lower the arms. Staying with that. So we'll be staying with this. And if you would like, in your head, I'll be cueing you for the, uh, the posture, the asana. But um, inhale, grateful. Exhale, thankful. Ready? Inhale, come to standing on the knees. Exhale, Vajrasana, fold. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Exhale, Vajrasana. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, right leg. Exhale, Vajrasana. Inhale, come to standing on the knees. Exhale, come to seated on the heels. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana. Inhale, left leg, grateful. Exhale, Vajrasana, thankful. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, right leg, grateful. Exhale, Vajrasana, thankful. Inhale, rise, lifting the arms, gather up, grateful. Exhale, thankful, bringing it to the heart center this time if you'd like. 
Hmm. I sprung that on you at the end. Go ahead and come on to your backs. And have your strap by your side so that you can access it when we're ready. Knees can be bent or straight, resting in Shavasana. Shoulders away from the ears, eyes can be closed. Allow the body to rest. Settle downward, maybe feeling the weight of the body. Bringing attention to the head and observing the weight of the head. Sinking into the ground. And the shoulders, the weight of the shoulders, allowing them to release downward. How heavy they are. The back, the low back and hips. Sacrum. The legs and the feet. Staying here and breathing long and smooth. Equal inhale to equal exhale. And staying with the mantra of grateful on the inhale and thankful on the exhale. So keeping the mind engaged, staying on the breath, feeling the gratitude, filling your heart as you inhale, how the puffing of the chest happens naturally. And on the exhale, the thank, thankful, feeling the body being supported, resting back into the earth. There's nothing we have to do. Just surrender, keep breathing and watching the breath. Taking one more round here. And then taking your strap and wrapping it, wrapping it around the ball of the left foot holding the strap with your left hand. The right knee can be bent or straight, whatever is most comfortable for you. So keeping the arms straight for, for the majority of the postures, it takes the strain out of putting it into your arms, right? We're just holding the strap like a leash on a dog. We're hoping the dog's gonna go where we want and the dog's gonna do the work. We're just kind of holding the leash. So using the strength of the legs. So the foot's up to the sky. The right hand can just be resting on the right hip or on the side of the body. As you inhale, allow the left leg to go out to the left. So keeping the right hip on the earth. So only go as wide or open up the leg as wide as the right hip can still be on the earth. And exhale, take the foot back to the sky. So my leg is doing the work. 
Inhale, long, smooth breaths, primary. Exhale, foot back to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, noticing the inside of the thigh, the adductors. And exhale. So we're working on a lot of stabilizing muscles today. The adductors, the ankles. So when the foot's back up to the top, switch hands. So now take your right hand to the strap, the arm is straight, and take your left arm out to the, a T. Palms can be up or down, whatever you'd like. On the next exhale, take the left foot over across the body to the right side. So only as deep as is comfortable. Focusing on the belly. As you inhale, we're focusing on the hip, the outside of the hips. So you're inhaling, the glute med and minimus are doing the work to lift the leg back up, not the arm. Exhale, lower the leg. Inhale, lift. Keeping the focus on the belly and the outside of the hip. Two more. Exhale. Maybe the head turns to the left if that's comfortable. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. And then bend the left knee, take the strap off the left knee. And bend your right leg and take the strap now on your right, right ball of the right foot. So arm is straight, right hand is on the strap. Leg can be bent or straight. First to the outside, inhale, leg goes out. Again, now the left hip is staying on the ground. Exhale, notice if this feels differently than the other side. Inhale, open the leg. Exhale, these are really effective stretches for getting into the psoas, strengthening <clears throat> specific muscles, inhale. The muscles that help with balance, knee, back, bunions, all of it. In exhale. Take one more on your own. Then taking the left hand on the strap. Releasing the right hand out to a T, palm up or down. On the exhale, take the right leg towards the left side of the body in a twist, right? The head can turn to the right if you'd like. See if you can keep the right shoulder on the ground. Inhale, using the strength of the outside of the hip to lift the leg back up. Keep moving on your own. Each exhale, the leg comes down. Belly comes in, like you're wringing out a washcloth. Release. And take one more round here.
And when you finish, just bending the knee, taking the strap off and step over to the side. We're done with that for now. And then bending both knees. Hands can rest on the belly. Feet are parallel and hip distance apart. Shoulders are away from the ears. Back of the neck is long, so the chin can be slightly tucked. And take the hands down by the side. Inhale, lift the hips, bridge pose. Pressing through both feet equally. The arms can stay by the sides, or you can lift the arms up overhead or out to the sides. Back of the hands can touch the earth. Exhale, belly in, lower the hips, lower the arms. Staying with this, inhale. Exhale. Keep moving on your own with your breath. See if you can smooth it out, lengthen it, slow it down. Engaging both glutes equally. One more round here. Pausing, observing. Eyes can be closed. Hands can rest on the belly if you like, or by the sides. Just noticing any sensations. Knowing that any sensations we ever feel or think our emotions, they pass through us. With puffy clouds, gently going across the sky forever changing. The practice is to be able to just be with it and watch it go by. Feel it, experience it. Allow it to move through. Then taking the hands, your hands can either be clasped or not. If it's uncomfortable to have your hands clasped, we're going to be going into taking our hands clasped and then the arms are going to come up overhead. We're moving into Tadaka and Mudra. So if this is uncomfortable for the shoulders, just take your strap so that your arms can be together with a strap and take it as wide as you like to be able to do the arm raise, okay? So knees are bent, eyes can be closed. Take the palms of the hands together, interlace the fingers, turn the palms down towards your feet so the arms are straight. On the inhale, raise the arms up overhead so the pinkies touch the earth, feeling the belly expand. Your mind is on the belly the whole time. As you exhale, focus on bringing the belly in towards the spine first and the arms lower, keeping the clasp. Staying with this. Inhale, watch the belly rise. Exhale, belly comes in, lower the arms. Moving on from here. Listen for the change. Inhale, belly rises, arms up. Stay here, exhale, belly comes in. Inhale, belly rises.
Exhale, lower the arms. One more like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, belly towards the spine. Staying here. Inhale, belly rises, stay here. Exhale, lowering the arms. Moving on. Inhale, arms come up. Stay here. Exhale, belly comes in. Focus on the belly. When you get to the bottom of the exhale, stay. Hold the exhale. Belly comes in. Maybe there's a suction up under the ribs. Push the belly out. Then inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. So we always want to push the belly out before inhaling, releasing that suction. Inhale, arms up. Last round. Stay here. Exhale, hooks in the belly. Hold. Push the belly out, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. With the hands on the belly, pause here. Eyes can be closed, just observe. Observe the body. the mind. And then turning over onto your hands and knees. Just moving back and forth in Vajrasana to Chakravakasana for counter pose. Eyes can be closed still. So just Moving into cow pose, as it's commonly called, and exhale back into child's pose. Moving with your own breath, releasing any tension. One more round here. And then coming to a seated position whenever you're ready. You need to take another round of that. Go ahead. Coming to a comfortable seated position. Letting the body settle.
And then we'll be working with Brahmari, which is the bee breath. So we'll be inhaling through both nostrils, long and smooth. And as we exhale, humming with our mouth closed, the whole length of the exhale. The hands can be on the heart center, one palm on top of each, each other or in Anjali Mudra, if you'd like. Eyes can be closed, focusing on a pitch where you feel the vibration in the center of the chest. So exhale all the air out here. Inhale, filling up. Continue on your own. One last round here. Observing. Focusing the mind in the center of the chest. Imagining a beautiful flower there, maybe a lotus flower, or if you have another flower with petals that you like, placing it there in the heart center. Noticing if the petals are open or closed. And if they're closed, what do they need to open? Is it sun? Is it attention, water? And seeing if you can invite the petals to open if they're closed. And if they're open already,
placing a pearl. You've gathered up a beautiful pearl and placing it right in the center of the, the blossom. This pearl is special and it glows. So seeing the bright glow, the warm, inviting bright glow in the center of the blossom in the center of the heart. Keeping the mind focused on that for a few breaths. Noticing how quickly the mind wanders away or if it stays there. And taking a little deeper inhale, bowing the head to the heart to seal in the practice. Thanking the flower in your heart space honoring that bright light within yourself and within all humans. I say namaste. Thank you for practicing today.